I heard about RWB, I weighed about 315 pounds. I could barely walk up the stairs without being out of breath. Uh, definitely couldn't run a mile. I uh, was mentally out of shape as well, you know, having some issues, some struggles. Uh, now I have run a half marathon. I'm training for a full marathon. I weigh about 50 pounds less. Um, I've given the chance to organize and run events and, you know, kind of lead groups of people and been given the opportunity to give back what people gave to me to others. The greatest thing about RWB is the fact that it's not really a club, it's Team RWB for a reason. Because when I got out of the military, I missed the teamwork and camaraderie of my unit and I didn't really know anyone down here. So coming into Team RWB gives you kind of that unit again that I had when I was in the military that I was looking for when I got out because I missed that aspect of it. And it keeps me in shape because I come out here and we just a bunch of like-minded people, whether you're veteran, civilian, it doesn't matter, you just come out and have a good time, hang out with friends and go for a run or a bike ride and get out of the house for a while. The Washington DC chapter of Team Red, White & Blue has been around for just about three years now. Um, the membership has, has certainly swelled. We're nearing uh, about 3,000 members in the DC chapter, so it is our largest chapter uh, in the country. Um, and you know, there's a whole host of events and activities that are going on on, on a given week. Um, you know, we have literally something every night of the week um, going on somewhere in the metro area. So whether you're trying to get involved in, in rock climbing or yoga, uh, you're looking for a, a group to come run with. Um, a group to come cycle with, you know, there are consistent activities in your community that you can come be a part of. Being part of Team RWBDC, I have learned coping strategies. I've learned how to cope with my depression, um, with the tragedy that I've had to deal with, um, and I've been able to see a change in myself. I feel great. I feel great every day. I feel great knowing every weekend I'm going to see an RWB person and um, it makes me feel happy because I have a family here and I'm active duty military so I don't have family here. I have my RWB family here. In a sense we all get sort of you know brought to DC whether it's for, for work or for personal reasons um, and it can be an unsettling you know, transition or situation to come to a big city and one that you know, doesn't feel like home. But I think you can find a little pretty piece of home with Team RWB in the sense that you know, there are folks here, um, they're, they're wanting to be active, they're wanting to be positive, they're full of energy, they're wanting to be involved in their community, and they're wanting to get to know the people in their community and know them you know, in, a, in a real way. Um, so that hands down is, is, is the best thing about Team RWB DC and the thing that I've found you know, most welcoming, even for myself as, as a member. Team RWB is the best thing in my life. Um, it's the highlight of my week. Um, through my volunteer work with Team RWB, I do almost 30, sometimes 35, 40 hours outside of my regular full-time job, but it doesn't feel like work because it's so rewarding. You're constantly meeting new people, you're opening yourself up to new things. You're learning about veterans and how great of people they are. You're making new friends on the veteran and civilian front. You're getting in better shape yourself. There's so many rewards and it's completely free. I just encourage you to come out and try it. You know, there you have nothing to lose and I really do think you have everything to gain.